Eddie, Eddie, tell us about Black No Jumper, this new new collective you're starting within this collective. How did you find out? <laughs> Long time no see. It's been on. My guy right here. How you doing? What's up? I'm he good. Walks in. Big Woods lit. Okay, What's okay. Up, man? Hey, man, you know I'm always on some oh, shit, yeah. man. Some real yeah, shit. Give him yeah. this shirt. This is for you. Oh, yeah. You know? Bob's. It's hard. <laughs> it's up boy AD. It's like yeah. a shirt we did for him, but uh, yeah, he's a big crip, so you know. He's out here with the purple bandana. Oh. <laughs> you get that? <laughs> Every fucking It'd be time. like that sometimes. I feel like that constantly with that. Hey, y'all got that one? Uh, oh, yeah, well, I got it. I got it. What's with that? I'll write that. Fuck that. I've been out here for three months. Oh, uh, yeah? Hell yeah, yeah. I ain't been home. Yeah, I've been ready to go to babies. I didn't realize it was you under the mask at first. Yeah, I figured, I figured I was like, okay, I, I, I keep having that problem with everybody. Yeah, that was fine. The mask had a lot of shit. Makes it mad and anonymous now, yeah. You got to ask girls, take your mask off. Oh, yeah. Talk to them, hey, yeah. Take your mask off. It's just the eyes have to look good. It's so easy to look good. Take your mask off, missing teeth and everything. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my. <laughs> shit. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, back with an old friend. Haven't seen him in a while. Black Boy JB, how you doing, man? I'm good. Oh man, I'm about to be a dad. Uh, Thanks for asking though. They never ask. I always ask how they're doing, they never ask how I'm doing. It's gonna be a dad. Yeah. yeah. Extra toasty cheez -Its. Extra toasty interviews. We got it all. It's King Most Funny, you feel me? We out here at No Jumper. We got Adam 22. You feel me? We going Vara. Almost done salad. So his song, huge, crazy. I know you guys. Don't listen to nothing. And if they're on rap car VR, you probably ain't listening to it. But that's just my opinion. That song, go listen to it. It got like seven million views on YouTube. You're not gonna feel let down. You're gonna be like, that shit was hard. Can I ask what happened to your arm? Car crash. Yeah. Fucking uh, like it's been like a month now, like a month or two now. I did get, I broke my wrist. I did get surgery right here. And right here, they had to put like metal plates in my shit. Got a new shipment in here, the new, no jumper, Kandamas. You know, these things are always just flying off the shelves. But we got the purple joints. We don't smoke the purple ones in real life, but we got the yellow ones. Let's be real, we were just going with the best colors. So, get yourself one, guys. Okay, so Amber Rose is here today. Very, very excited about this interview. Uh, my little lady, who is just about to blow, she decided to pull up to the office. Very, very rare moment. Let's have a quick little talk with her, see how she's doing. Hi, everyone. So um, you're like 11 months pregnant, right? How's that going? Yes, I'm doing Monday. Uh, and Amber Rose is gonna be here, and I wanted to uh, be in the presence of someone who just had a baby and is back on OnlyFans, mm. so that I could see that it's possible. I can see Lana slowly becoming more and more detached from the idea of being like a hot girl. I forgot and what it was like to be hot, yeah. I mean, I still think you look hot, but like she's- That's what you have to say. She's kind of like losing connection What did you tell me that. this morning? The first thing you said to me this morning. And I just know? asked if when you stood on the scale, if it just said you are gigantic on- It was also thing. the first thing you said to me this morning. But because morning. I was looking at you and I was like, oh, it's so huge. The belly's getting so big. No assault, please, no. But it's just getting so big by the day, you can really feel that there's a human being in there. It's fucking Yeah, she was up. just kicking me a ton. Really? She likes this office. She's like, oh, dad's here. She's like, this is a place of <laughs> chaos and intrigue. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how nice you? What's up, Jay? Hi, how you doing? Excellent. Thanks for having us. This is Lennon. She wanted to... Uh, I, I wanted to meet you, so I'm here. She wanted to absorb Hi. some hot pregnant lady you energy, you know? Yeah. She's right in the middle Mom, of her. Hot right energy. Now. I need to be around it. Yeah. yeah, how far are you? I'm doing Monday. Oh so, my god. Yeah. I fight your first going baby? To, yeah. His first baby too. Mm -hmm. Boy or girl? girl? Girl. Okay, yeah. Do you, do yeah. you just let her do all the work? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like she, she wipes all the diapers, she does the baby. I just do like throwing him in the air and yeah, all the fun stuff, right? right? Yeah. Him I made him food and shit. watch a video on how to change a diaper. We'll see here in oh, yeah. I watch a whole bunch of videos. <laughs> I'm so. always the bad, I'm always wiping the face and the boogies and you yeah, know, he gets mad at me videos. and then he has fun with him. I just put him on new foods like I have him on waffles today. Ooh, yeah. like first waffle and shit. Yeah. When you get to this stage where you're nine months and you're fucking tired uh -huh. and you feel like, yo, I really don't want to push this baby out. I don't know how long it's going to take. Call your doctor and book a C-section if you really want it. Because you, I'm telling you, 
your baby is gonna come out healthy and fine anyway. Anyways, yeah. So after going another, through all that, out. if you're just like, you know what, I changed my fucking mind, book a C-section, they'll numb you and you won't feel shit. You'll be like, is my, when's my baby coming? 10 minutes? Okay, cool. I'm so just scared. Just do it. <laughs> and the C-section like hires the probability of your baby having like the perfect head. Oh yeah, that's oh, true. Because yeah. once it gets yeah. stuck yeah. in the canal, yeah, like yeah. my son's head came off the stove. I was like, oh shit, oh, like, <laughs> like perfect. Have, have I don't. Know. Like, my kid come out with a cone head. I'm gonna be so hyped. Two, one. Come on. I got an ice box with my heart used to be. Okay, all right. Adam doesn't have never. That's awkward. I'm a dancer. You don't know Icebox? Get out of here. What is what? that? What's Icebox? Oh he doesn't know any R&B, so... I know the uh, Jewelry YouTube channel, Icebox. I'm actually kind of jealous of their views. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Just did an interview with Cash Page right here, coming out of Dallas. Man, just did an interview with Adam22 right here, man, coming out of motherfucking Boston. <laughs> New Hampshire, technically, but... The coolest I'll give it to motherfuckers her. in the city, bro. Check it out. She loves weed, man. I don't know if I ever interviewed a girl who talked about weed as enthusiastically as she did, to be totally honest. <laughs> She's like listing off all the flavors she got and shit. I think she was trying to sell me a pound or something. Not know. for real, I'm a whole ass salesman. <laughs> She's like, you know, sometimes you just gotta buy some designer and buy some buy a pound, you know? I'm like, oh yeah. Well, whenever you come out to Texas, I'm gonna take you to a chicken spot called the Chicken House, and then we gotta smoke some like Gorilla Glue. Oh, <laughs> word? Some gas. What about Dave's Hot Chicken? You had that out here? Dave's Hot Chicken is fire. Okay, so you already know about the shit that we got out here. <laughs> You're more tapped in. It's not. That's why I kept asking everybody, are you boss again? Yeah. We should have our own political party. The pasta party? The pasta party. PPs. PPs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. You got the strawberry. Oh, I'm gonna the eat it. That the strawberry means that uh, if I if I get three strawberries, then I win. Oh, I just hit the ghost. Does that mean I lose? What happens if you hit a ghost? <laughs> oh, game over. What? But the thing is, is that this is giving you the illusion of choice when in reality, no, like, I think that okay, you have to cherry. follow your own path. And in you life? Are you talking about in life or about in this? I both. <laughs> See? Okay, I hit another ghost. It's going to be the same thing where I'm going to hit another ghost because, I mean, what are the odds that this is actually, like, a free-for-all? What, what medallion are you scratching with? Yeah, I hit the ghost again. This is a, a token that the poker site gave me for that tournament that I lost $2,500 my buy-in in, although I didn't actually pay for it myself. So this is worth 2500 no, but it's symbolic of a $2,650 20, $2, tournament that I lost. Even though I got it in good with nines against ace-king. I'm still a little salty about it. I had a 52% chance of winning that hand. Fuck. Okay, so basically people have always kind of suggested that we do some baby merchandise. Now, with my kid dropping in the very immediate near future, we finally did it. I actually got my mom to do an illustration. I told my mom, hey... Can you do it? Do me a drawing of a little baby girl holding a cat. You like it? I'm really excited about it. This is like the loan, but for your kid. Have you seen that, guys? What is that? Uh, that's your dagger. Sorry, say hi. That's your dagger in the white community. Oh, you want a dagger? <laughs> no, no, no. Black, no jumper. Come on, you're here. What did they just say? Black, no jumper? Yeah, black jumper or something. Do you hear what they're just calling each other? They, so they walk up, they're like, oh shit, black, no jumper. It's like they, they got their own. Why? Eddie, tell us about black, no jumper, this new new collective you're starting within this collective. How did you find out? <laughs> I don't know the end of the day dropping them all. It was supposed to be at the end of the day cub, but y'all didn't put the cub. Oh, hey, let's ask. Let's get his opinion. You think it's racist that I be calling my white baby daughter a monkey? Yeah, like, I'd be like, oh, you that's cute bad, little monkey. Right? my little monkey. I told he told me that's racist, yeah. and I gotta stop. I mean, is, is it racist? Don't you fucking lie, house mom. Is it racist to the Armenian side? No, they don't care. I don't think. No, they don't care. They don't care. You shouldn't call your baby a monkey, though. What the fuck is wrong with you people? God, not with you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm wearing it backwards now. Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> We all got a white lady drank them all. I bring bottles here every fucking week. I'm gonna start drinking them And then you drink them. Hey, everybody, tell AD that he needs to become a nug boy. That's that's my new job for him. I don't think it would be fire. Don't you think he would be perfect? Well, sin, yeah. He is a nug boy. Where the hell am I sitting? He hasn't seen it yet and he doesn't know yet, but I mean, you can serve it. 
We got Belgium. We got Belgium. We got Belgium. We got all three. Bro, so now they know we're not all the same person. We all eat beef biscuits, nigga. What's happening? Beef biscuits? Yeah, what? We eat beef biscuits. It's an empanada. In this LA, is, this is definitely ice. not an empanada, but well, beef. Yeah, it was. It was a circle. It's a Cuban one. There's a lot of other no, no, different ones. There's different ones. No, 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 bro, no, I wasn't eating the empanada, yo. Mm. It was multi. This shit had mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. It's, a, it's an empanada potato ball. ball. No mashed potato ball. Potato okay, say less. I'm backing you up. It's a beef biscuit. Like yeah. Stay alive. Everybody, in there. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Adam! Happy birthday to you! Pac Man's fucking scratch offs. They know that I like these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if you win one million dollars? Bro, I fucking <laughs> scratched off about 30 of them. <laughs> right here. I scratched off so many fucking of them and I didn't get shit yet. You didn't get nothing. Oh, wow, yeah. look at this. What's up with this? High five on being born. <laughs> it is, Joshua, it is your birthday. I love that because that is also from the office. <laughs> That's what Dwight Schrill <laughs> said. Remember he threw like the worst birthday party ever? Oh man, yeah. I appreciate everybody. Thanks so much. This is really sweet.